Oh, make sure. Yep, it's running. All right. Hey, everybody. It's Wessel from Los Angeles. I'm coming to you on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. We got blue skies, nice warm concrete. So today's vlog uh, comes to me from, or comes to you from a question that I posed to my Instagram audience yesterday asking, what would you want to hear me vlog about? And um, one person got back to me and they said, uh, it posed a very interesting question, I'd say, because it's a very controversial topic. I don't know why it's controversial, but it is. To the people who don't like it, they don't like it. To the people who like it, they really get, like it. And they get it. Um, but the question posed to me was, uh, do something about how cannabis expands your creativity. So I'm bringing up the marijuana topic. Um, <laughs> drugs! And, you know, like I said, the debates on that are endless. Um, people go back and forth about the merits and the merits of it, like, moral, morally, and some people call it a gateway, and it's like, some people like it just wrong, and other people love it, and it's just so back and forth, but for me, it's not really a question. I know how I feel about it, um, through personal experience. And up front, I want to say that uh, marijuana can be used for many different reasons. Um, some people use it for recreation, some people use it for uh, healing, some people use it like as a tool. Um, because, like I said, it's a topic you can get lost in endlessly about. Because um, there are some people that smoke and they're the ones that give this, like us stoners, a bad reputation, you know, the ones who don't do anything ever. And then, you know, those of us who work like 14, 16 hours a day while being high and smoking. Um, yeah, but anyways, that's an endless debate. I'm not going to get into that. The thing I want to focus on is how it affects my creativity, because um, you know, there's always those things out there like, oh man, like uh, being stoned makes you so creative and all this other jazz. And in a way, I would agree and disagree with that. Um, how it affects me and expands my creativity is that, um, like when I smoke, uh, it puts me into a frame of mind that is kind of like an isolated state. Um, now this might kind of sound strange, like I've had a, my relationship with marijuana has only been for like three and a half years since I moved to LA, but since I began to use it, I was using it as a tool so that I could be able to hack my brain and be able to heal myself from a lot of the things that I've gone through, going through, and all that other jazz. Um, so how it expands my creativity is that I've had years of training of using it very specifically to allow myself to think in new and different ways. And so think of it as like, a free form, um, whatever the mind wants to think about kind of dealio. Like I can direct it and it will begin to think about things and, but there's always like a, a thread that appears in front of me, not in front of me like literally but inside of my own head, that I'm like, wait a second, that might be an interesting idea. And the power of marijuana when you're stoned and you're thinking and allowing your brain to move where it wants to, um, you begin to get a lot of like uh, subconscious connections. Um, the different things that have happened before, you've done before, thought about before, come up again and they come together to create these different you know, potentials that you can get into. And um, don't get me wrong, I can, I can paint and be creative just out completely sober. Um, no, not being stoned, not being drunk, not being anything, you know. I did that in Paris. Um, like some people said, oh, you can all, like it, worried or say that, oh, you're only creative when you're stoned or you know, you can't be creative when you're not stoned if you, and it's like, no, creativity is a thing. And like, that's why I find this question amazing is because it asks if, here, I gotta turn my phone off so it doesn't die. Um, like using it as a tool, uh, like in expanding creativity, it's because I realize that you don't need it, but it does really great things when you allow it to, to expand. Um, like when I was in Paris, I, went as, I had like four hours of sleep. I, I was completely tired, exhausted. I was painting in a new environment. And like, I didn't need to be high. I just threw on some of my music from my friends and then I just got to it. Um, but when you smoke, like you have those different kinds of threads that appear before you that you can pull on. And it allows you to kind of, like I said, be isolated in a way and, and jump into a different kind of flow state. And once again, this is not something that like somebody who just gets stoned does. Like, it's a conscious effort. Like, you don't get to be a productive, like, responsible, or no, productive, um, successful stoner without being highly responsible to your actions and, like, being able to get stuff done. And so, it's like, when you're stoned to being creative, um, like, your mind is in a mindset to tell you to do something. And so, it's just like, you put a project on your mind and you just let your, 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 your computational machine work. You don't let your, yourself get in the way basically 
And so for me, I, I always find it so fun because, yeah, it just lets you relax a little bit more. Um, because like on a daily life, we have so many filter sets that we have on top of ourselves that it, it hinders a lot of things, I think. And you can train yourself out of those filter sets um, over a period of time. Um, some people do it through meditation. I'm doing it through meditation and marijuana. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I think that's a kind of a descriptor of like how it works with my creativity and expands it. It's, it's a tool for me to open up doorways that I wouldn't have thought of before. Um, I don't need to smoke to be creative. Um, I'm sober most of the time anyways, so. <laughs> um, but once again, it, it allows your mind to put together unconsciously a lot of things that you would never have consciously thought of. And it puts you into that flow straight that um, like martial artists and people are always looking for, where instead of thinking so heavily about what's going on, you actually participate a lot more, and it's kind of allows you to f fulfill the moment in a more true sense. Um, and once again, it's like being high is not a, a destination. Um, it's only a part of the journey. Um, like your whole point is to train yourself to be able to think that way anytime and feel that way anytime. And uh, yeah, smoking just becomes a fun thing then. So I hope that answers that question. Um, I probably went into a lot of things that need to be deeper explained, but I guess that's one of those things that as you vlog, you begin to learn about what you're supposed to talk about. Um, maybe make notes or be prepared with like actually like a list of things versus just like going through it off the top of my head but in a way once again I like that kind of flow state because it allows you to yeah understand it in a deeper way so all right so that's me I'm gonna be go out into this beautiful weather pretty soon and head to the coffee shop and I got a bunch of drawings I got to get done um, commissions as well as some own personal creative stuff that I'm experimenting with so um, be awesome head to my patreon if you haven't gone there already become a collector of my arts hit me up for a commission buy some of my merch at imwessel.com but uh, in any way you can even if it's just a like share or comment um support me i really appreciate it <laughs> so all right everybody you have a great uh i think it's yeah it's a holiday weekend we got going so i'll see you all later